Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo yoga book which is that the model is a 530 we come with a Ryzen 3 processor and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to remove the hard drive the SSD drive and upgrade or replace your SSD drive if your SSD drive is not working or your main hard drive is not working and you want to replace it or you upgrade to a bigger version I'm going to take you on a step by step how to do that on this video also I really appreciate it if you guys find my videos helpful click that like button and subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it it really greatly helps and motivates me to make more videos and answer your questions so that said next you need first to power off the laptop make sure it completely is off next you want to grab yourself a screwdriver set I use the iFixit tool set as they have all the bits that you need to open in electronics and the bits are S2 class steel that means they're really tough and steel and they don't go bad after a few use we're going to be using torque number five and we're going to be needing an opening tool you can get the pro version of this one i'll leave the link in the description the pro version includes you with a whole bunch of the tweezers pliers and opening tools plastic ones and uh, some opening tools with a handle but if you don't want to uh, spend too much money to buy the pro version you can just buy the screwdriver set kit and for the opening tools you can just simply use a guitar pick these guitar picks are really handy to have around the house they're really tough and soft edges they're like the same thing that they include in a pack but with a handle as personally i don't like the handles i just like it to have it fit inside my hand now what are we going to do once the power is off to the laptop you want to flip it upside down and what are you going to do we're going to remove all the screws at the bottom cover so go ahead and remove all the screws keep the screws the bottom cover screws in one pile as they are all the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching these screws next you want to grab your opening tool and what you want to do you want to is take the opening tool between the bottom and the top cover just like that just take it about one or two millimeters inward and you just want to twist it don't worry about if you didn't get it at the first do it again work yourself on the front cover all the way to the corners make sure you see this opening right there and then do the sides just take it a little bit and just twist twist work yourself to the back corner make sure you hit those clicks you're not breaking anything you're just loosening up the clips do the same thing on the back on the back corner not necessary you have to do this corner at the back end but if you want right there's a tiny line there you can do it in there once you finish with that just grab the bottom cover and lift it up and that's the bottom chassis now the hard drive this one doesn't have a mechanical drive and you cannot install a mechanical drive in here the only drive that you can install is an m.2 ssd drives which are right under this heat plate to remove this one you need a screwdriver with a bit number zero so phillips number zero and now before we do this i would suggest that you disconnect the battery because we have to remove this metal plate and you don't want to accidentally hit any other component to make a shortage so in, in order to prevent that grab these cables and pull the jack backward make sure you disconnect this jack that's the battery once you did that now it's safe to work here now you can go ahead and remove actually this screw was for the motherboard so you don't need to remove that screw just grab this from this corner and pull it up and evenly bring it upward so that's the heat plate for the ssd and in this model you can only put a short ssd in here you cannot put a long version because there's no screw right at the back in order to remove it just remove the screw right here these screws are really tough when they screw if the screw is really hard you can't open it 
you just don't want to damage it so what you, I'll suggest to do I don't want to press on the keyboard on the screen so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open up the laptop in 90 degrees I'm gonna put it on the edge of the table so the screen is hanging on the edge of the table now I can actually press on here firmly without damaging the screen so no so this screw is really really hard so there is no way I can remove it with a flat screw head so I'm gonna switch to a and with the Phillips I'm gonna switch to a flat screw so the flat screw holds it really bit a little tougher and that didn't work neither so next step is so I like this video so if you can't remove this one what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead to grab a tiny I'm gonna make a nice pot right on top here with whatever uh, tools that you can find just make a flat cut across the screw so we can actually remove this screw I have no idea why is it so tough I seen in my comments people saying like my screw is really tough but for me this is really tough screw so what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and make a nice insertion right there and I'll be back all right so uh, the thing that I did right here I'm gonna show you guys how I removed the stock screws the color that I used to make the cut on the screws I'll leave the link in the description you can get a cheaper version or you can use your own imagination to make a cut so what I did I just used a tape to cover all around the board make sure that there's no metal particles will fly inside around it and I put a tape over and I cut right on top of the screw this is what I did I made a nice insertion deep insertion right in the middle on the screw and now that it is like nicely deep and flat we're gonna use a flat screwdriver a really thick flat screwdriver and we're gonna place it right there and pressing it firmly down we're gonna slowly gently rotate and we can easily see the screw coming up there we go so now we can actually replace the screw with some new one and obviously don't toughen up the new screw so this is what i did pretty much cut the screw in the middle so i have a better grip from with my flat screwdriver flat screwdrivers are better than the phillips if you have a stock screw so now we can i'll leave the link in the description for new screws for this one or you can use the same one if you want just don't tighten up next we're just gonna remove all the tape here we're not gonna be using this All right. once you remove the tape the SSD drive is going to be available right here so you just want to pull it out in 45 degree angle this one is a 128 gig SSD M.2 SATA you have to place the short one and you want to place it in 45 degree all the way down there and towards the motherboard and the next step would be to put the screw right on top and I'm gonna look for a new screw. Grab the new screw, hold down the SSD, and screw it down. And you don't need to toughen up, just simply, just like that, and you're ready to go. All right, once you have the new SSD in there or upgraded, now what you need to do is to grab the shield and place it straight on top. If you pay attention, there's one, two, three, four, five hooks, and on the side hooks. So make sure this one is aligning straight over the hooks and on the front on the back and then press it towards the motherboard and that's it once you got the new drive in there and the last part down here would be to 
grab the jack for the battery and align it nicely over and then push it towards the motherboard and that's it just remember one thing once you put a new drive in here you're not going to have any operating system installed so you need to go to uh, microsoft website to download the new windows iso and boot it up from the usb and follow a few steps to have your new freshly installed if you want to know how to install the windows i'll leave the link in the description on a few videos how to burn it on the usb and how you can install it on a laptop all right now last step would be to grab the bottom cover bring it over align it and now you're just going to push the corners the sides the back corner and the bottom cover make sure you hit all those clicks on the front and to finish it up just grab the bottom screws and screw them in place i hope you like this video and helped you guys out and if it did please think about subscribing and clicking that like button it really helps out and again i was glad that this stock screw happened right now so you guys could actually see the way i removed the stock screws just gonna finish up putting all the screws Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.